Okay, we should be recording now. Uh, hey, let's call to order this special meeting of the Northampton Open Media Board of Directors. It is... Do we know that Tim is already there? Well, like he's there, but he didn't say anything yet, did he? <laughs> the street didn't say anything. Tim, tell us you're around. <laughs> Type something in chat if you can't talk. I don't know. There it is. It froze up for a minute. I couldn't, I couldn't do anything. I'm here. Cool. Okay. Um, so yeah, let's call to order this meeting of the Northampton Open Media Board of Directors. It's a special meeting. It is on Sunday, November 26th, 2023. And in this meeting, we'll be discussing two major things as outlined in an email sent by Florian to everybody last week. Um, let's see here. This, so uh, first we're gonna talk about bylaws changes for expanding the board. And second, we're going to initiate a special election to fill additional vacancies, uh, which will include uh, also managing uh, my second term, or not my second term, but my fourth term, and the fact that I forgot to put myself up for election because I was not paying close enough attention to the schedule. That is my bad. <laughs> um, and, uh, and also for these uh, new seats that we will probably be adding. Uh, so let's see here. Um, let's talk about the bylaws changes first. I assume that is what people want to do. Um, I have the text up in a document. I'm just going to screen share it so everybody will be able to see it. If I can find the right document. Oh my God, I have so many documents open. Give me a second here. Which one? Which one? Uh, oh, it's impossible to tell. Hold on. Hold. One moment. I think I only have one instance of this open. Yeah. So it should be this. Yep. Okay, cool. Okay, people can see this text document, I assume. Cool. Uh, all right. So we have in here the, uh, well, I'll scroll up. We have the old text of the, uh, or the current text of the uh, section two, uh, number of election or appointment to office for the bylaws. Uh, again, this is in your emails. If you wanna follow along there, you also can do that. Uh, and then we have the new section. And the big changes here is that we have added uh, an optional to elected seats. So the board is, been expanded not straight up to nine but to seven to nine so you can have an additional two seats if you want and we wrote in that it is contingent on number of candidates interested um, so we want to give that range like we talked about in our last uh, regular board meeting uh, we also have uh, done away with the even odd year um, placement of the start of terms so as soon as you're elected, that is the year in which your term starts, uh, but terms are still two years. You still serve four of them, you serve them uh, consecutively or non-consecutively. That was also a thing I think that got added, the non-consecutive thing. Um, and let's see, Florian, what else changed here? That was the major stuff to me. Did you remove a section? That was uh, I split up a little bit, like we had the appointed directors, which was part of it. Oh, and, yeah, because that, was, that had been in there from when the organization was founded, so it was like no longer necessary to be in the bylaws. Yeah, the consecutive director that was removed, which mm -hmm. doesn't apply anymore anyway. Yep. Uh, and then they elected, like it's a little bit structured different, but there's no change in there in this way. Mm -hmm. Like it's just a, hopefully a little bit of clarification, but nothing, nothing changed. Cool. Um, okay, so... Uh, Let's discuss. Is everybody good with these changes or they want changes to be different? Oh, also, I should preface this by saying 
uh, changes to the bylaws, as we know, need to be sent to the board a week prior to when they can be voted on. So we, if we're voting, well, when we vote today, we are voting yes and no on the text as it currently appears. If we want to change it, change anything about it, that means that that text has to go back into editing and then at some point sent back to the board and then we would vote on that new edited text at a later date. We can't like edit it now and then vote on the edit, right? That's not how that works. So yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Uh, so let's discuss the text as it currently appears. If people have any major problems with it, how they feel about it, uh, open the floor to that. Yeah, like I think we already had all the conversations from my end, obviously the proposal uh, we created. Uh, I, I think it's pretty straightforward and so no concerns at this point. I think it's a good good thing to do. Okay. I mean, I don't see a problem with it. I mean, I think it's, uh, I think it's fine as it stands right now. Uh, well, then I guess if we don't have any issues with the new text, if we think that it is generally just better than the old, then let's vote on it. So I, I move a motion to to vote on it. A second. Cool. All, the, all those in favor of adopting the new uh, changes to the bylaws for Article 4, uh, say aye or raise your hand. Aye. Cool. All right, passes. We are changing those bylaws now. I, I'm going to remake that little Excel spreadsheet thing that I made, and maybe I'll add it to the, um, the, the, the Excel sheet that we already have going for the board, like for contact information and stuff like that as like another tab. I feel like that might be a good place to put it. And then we can like kind of continue to visualize uh, terms and where everybody's at. Yeah. That would be helpful. Um, I also isolated the newest, the what I am sure are the most updated bylaws that we have. Oh um, yeah, so I I put those in the root folder. I moved them over there. Uh, out of the I think they were in like the twenty twenty one or twenty two folders for the board. Um, yeah, that maybe I, I don't know. We should we should just. Ch I'll just check on that. And make sure it's the the one that's updated because we had two versions actually. There was a fork. And so it's it's all in there for the last. Okay. I backtracked everything. Okay, cool. Um, all right. So let's talk about the second topic, which is uh, initiating a special election. Now, because we just voted on these bylaws changes, we can have two additional elected seats on the board. So a special election um, can include these seats um, and probably should. And also, uh, it allows me to run for another term because, again, I forgot. Oh, I'm going to stop screen sharing. I don't need to do that anymore. Um, okay. Um, anything to this besides um, just voting to have it? Is there any other procedural stuff that we need to do, Al, that you're aware of? I mean, we'll discuss it first, but yeah. For the election or for the bylaws? For the election. Um, no, I don't believe so. Okay. Just to just to have a vote on it, and then to direct me, then we start the same process that um, I would do another nominating committee, just so I think the board was in consensus around following the same model that we follow in a regular election. Yeah, I believe so as well. But if anyone has any uh, comments about that, this is the time to discuss them. My only comment uh, was. I don't know if it makes sense, like what our candidate pool will be um, to move Tim from an appointed uh, board member to an elected board member, because that would free up the appointed seat for us to manage easier if we need to. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Uh, Tim, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about becoming a politician? Yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> I, you know, I never chose politics. It seems that politics is choosing me. <laughs> uh, um, no, but I somehow I just feel like that's a good idea about, I mean, I mean, I, I don't know. I just felt like that when you said it, it made sense. So, 
for me to, because it would be easier to appoint seats than, I don't know, elect a, elect a seat? Does that make sense? I mean, is that how that works? Is that how I'm understanding that works? Well, yeah, we would. Oh, go yeah. ahead. Uh, when the board decides they want to appoint a seat, it's usually like, the whole board has to the board has to find someone they have to unanimously decide they like that person um and obviously approach that person and ask them to be on the board uh but it's good because it's like if there's a need that the organization needs to fill like we're like oh it would be really great if we had someone with like this area of expertise on the board then the appointed positions are great for that because we're you know finding that a person who can fill those kind of needs um so so yeah if you moved over to elected then that gives us the option of like in future years if the board's like oh we really need someone who can do this specific thing because it would be helpful to the org then there's an appointed seat open that we can use for that the the only drawback in this like if we have two more candidates who are interested and everything is filled we have an appointed person anyway but we don't know at this point, so and and we don't have to decide yet at this moment as well. Like it can be quite. It was just a thought that I had. Yeah, I assume that's something that like the nominating committee would figure out, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I think it's a good idea. But other than that. I think it's pretty straightforward. Like we had anyway the, the big conversation around it in the last two board meetings. Yeah, totally. And, yeah. Okay. Um, if there are no other comments on it, then I think we can just vote. Good. Uh, move a motion to vote on the special election. I'll second. All right. Very cool. Okay, uh, all those in favor of holding a special election for the additional board seats, uh, say aye or raise your hand. Yeah. Cool. All right. Uh, well, uh, yeah, and now we kick it over to Al and we figure out a nominating committee and we get that ball rolling. Um, so, yeah, so the board needs to nominate a nominating committee. Oh, well, that's true. We do need to dominate a nominating committee. Um, let's see. So in the special election, I'm running. Um, I don't know if that means that I shouldn't be on the nominating committee. I feel like I shouldn't affect it, but if anyone has a problem with that, I certainly don't need to be on the nominating committee. Uh, otherwise, I will be. Uh, does anyone else want to be? Does anyone have a problem with that? Like, how many people do we need? Like, I'm not here, so I'm not very hip for. Um, I think, I mean, we had two for the last nominating committee, so I don't assume we need uh, any more than that, but we could. Then we have two. Yeah, I don't know. Eli, uh, Tim, do you guys want to do something to do this? Okay, exactly. Can you tell me exactly? What a nominating nominating committee entails. Oh yeah. What, what what will you know? What will my roles be in this situation? Uh, we are. Let's see. If there is a need to reach out to people to ask to run for election, we would be doing that. But there kind of isn't this time around. Um, I guess we could reach out to whoever doesn't win the election today and tell them about this to get to be like hey we're going to be we're doing a special election so you should run in that if you're still interested uh and otherwise uh, just yeah, it's basically to make sure that procedure is followed yeah just like give the give the the names of people interested to al and make sure everybody's contacted and stuff i don't is there anything major that i'm missing no, you mostly direct me. You mostly say, send out a nominating form, which I do. Yeah. Then the names go, I forward the names to the nominating committee, and then the nominating committee chooses the, the slate from those people. Usually that's everyone. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about it. Um, though the election won't be done today. Tomorrow is the due date for the election. Oh, that's true. Yes. Yeah. I forgot. Uh, okay. 
so yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. it. It would be, it's much more work when you don't have any potential candidates, right? But the fact that we do have a bunch makes it much easier. And the fact that the way the bylaws are structured now, like I'm going to run for re-election and that will, if nobody else runs, that will technically fill the board because we have the minimum of seven elected seats. So uh, yeah, it's mu it's, it'll be much easier than the previous nominating committee. <laughs> Okay, so I just so I just have to reach out to these candidates and inform them in a special election and see if they want to run for your position. Run for the <laughs> positions that will be open in special election, which will right. be mine and then the two other ones. The two other ones, okay, which we already wanted the candidates for anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I, I mean... I, I don't want to sound like I'm not willing to do it. I just want to make sure I do it right. And I no, understand totally. what, what what's going on, you know, if I, you know, if I accept, you know, that role or whatever, but uh, I'm sure we can discuss it outside of the meeting, but, you know, I'll do it. <clears throat> I'll be a part of it. Okay. Uh, so Tim and myself are currently the nominating committee and we will, well, I'll reach out to Jeremy and Michael just to see if they're interested in joining up with us. But, uh, but yeah. Thanks for that. Uh, uh, one official point, who is writing minutes today? Um, no one is currently writing minutes. I was going to review the video and then write up notes. And the domain, okay. Yeah. That would be great. Uh, okay. Uh, also, I think Zoom has a transcript feature, which uh, you might have to activate before you start recording. But I'll I'll ch I'll look into that because that would also be super helpful. Um, so, yeah, okay. Um, I think we're good unless anybody has anything else that they'd like to bring up. Uh, the only point I don't, I don't know if we need the meeting official part. Uh, can anyone stop by and get flowers for today? <laughs> Is anyone going by anything? I think Nuttleman's might be open. I could, I could swing by Nuttleman's. Uh, that would be great. Like if you if you if you can. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. The, I was, the two bouquets. I was gonna say I have a bit of a trek to get up there, but I might pass the flower shop. I wasn't sure. <laughs> Not something I'm looking out. What's for. What's happening in Nuttleman's? Uh, oh, we're gonna try to give flowers to uh, Mary Alice and and also Dave. Or maybe just Mary Alice. Um, no, we go like as Dave. I was. <laughs> um, but yeah, that it, during the the part of the ceremony where we where we honor them, we just wanted to have something for them. You you ready for today, Tim? What's happening today? <laughs> That's the wrong answer. <laughs> you you are the MC of the of the member meeting too. This happening today on a Sunday. Today's Sunday. Yeah. Yes. Check my calendar. Why didn't my calendar tell me that? <laughs> yes, I'm ready. I'm always ready. So I ain't, I ain't never got to get ready. I stay ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is why we chose you, Tim, because you're... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, uh, I think, let's see. Um, yeah, I've got my speech ready, so I'm ready to go. It's it's short, but I think it covers the the stuff that that I mean we had talked about a little bit at the last meeting where I'm just like, hey, the board's going to be more involved. Also, thanks everybody for being here and all your hard work. That's pretty much what the speech is. Um, and I assume it will be very intimate anyway. So yeah, uh, and the um, let's see, and then Al's doing his thing. We're doing we're honoring Mary Alice. What else is going on at it before the movie? Anything? uh and the, the q a at the end like i oh yeah the q a yep like the the timeline we i'll bring the timeline we we, we discussed and fill it accordingly like it should be pretty straightforward and then we have him to to fill in all the gaps <laughs> all the gaps yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm looking at the timeline now. Yep, it's it's the the welcome from Tim. Then I have my little speech. Then Al gives his director's report. Then we honor uh, Mary Alice, and then we have closing remarks. Uh, 
Cool. And then crowdsource cinema, obviously. All right. Well, I will see you folks then, I suppose. Uh, do we have to move a motion to we're, adjourn? We are going to do that. I was about to ask for it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were like. <laughs> no, I'm about to have the Zoom call. It's over. Um, okay. Can I get a motion to adjourn? Special meeting. <laughs> I move a motion to adjourn the special meeting. I'll second it. All right. All those in favor, say aye or raise your hand. Very cool. See you later today, folks. Have a good See you later. Time. Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Bye.